For today's video, we are going to continue our discussion on parabola and we have different set of examples on how we can find the standard form of equation of parabola. So let us define first what is parabola. So when you say parabola, it is a locus of all points which move so that it is always equidistant to a fixed point called focus and a fixed line called directrix. As you can see in the given figure, this point is what we call the vertex. The coordinates of the vertex that is h and k if the parabola opens upward, the vertex is the lowest point. If the parabola opens downward, the vertex is the highest point. And always remember, vertex is the midpoint between focus and directrix. Directrix is a line behind the opening of the parabola. Focus is a point on the axis of symmetry. It tells us where's the opening of our parabola. The distance between vertex to focus is A, and the distance between vertex to the line of directrix is also A. And this line is what we call the axis of symmetry. It divides the parabola into two congruent regions. And the line connecting two points of the parabola passing to the focus is what we call the latus rectum. And the distance between focus and one of the endpoints of latus rectum, that is 2A. And we have different forms of equations that we need to remember. If the parabola opens upward, we are going to use the formula quantity x minus h squared equals 4a times quantity y minus k. And if the parabola opens downward, we are going to use the formula quantity x minus h squared equals negative 4a times quantity y minus k. If the parabola opens to the right, we are going to use the formula quantity y minus k squared equals 4a times quantity x minus h. And lastly, if the parabola opens to the left, we are going to use the formula quantity y minus k squared equals negative 4a times quantity x minus h. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to understand what is parabola. So let's start and let's have an example. On the given set of example, we are going to find the equation of the parabola satisfying the following conditions. On number 1, vertex at the origin and focus at 2, 0. If you have given set of points, the best thing to do to find the equation is to sketch the graph. So let us draw a Cartesian coordinate plane. This will be our x-axis and this is y-axis. So let us plot the vertex is on the origin. So this will be our vertex and focus at 2, 0. That is 1, 2. This will be our focus. Since the distance between vertex to focus, that is 2 units, the value of A is 2, which is the latus rectum. Latus rectum, that is the distance between vertex to focus. And focus is in the right of the vertex. It tells us that the opening of our parabola opens to the right. And if our parabola opens to the right, we are going to use the formula quantity y minus k squared equals 4a times quantity x minus h. And our vertex, that is 0, 0. So let us have y minus 0, then square equals 4 times a, that is 2, and then x minus 0. So we have y square, and then 4 multiplied by 2, that is 8, and then we have x. So this will be the standard form of equation of parabola. And if you want to write your answer in general form, let us simply move 8x on the side of y square, this will be y squared minus 8x equals 0. And if you want to sketch the graph, since the distance between vertex to focus is 2 units, and vertex is the midpoint between focus and directrix, let us count 2 units to the left, that is 1, 2. So this will be the line of directrix. And to find the endpoints of the latus rectum, let us have 2a, so 2 multiplied by the value of a, that is 2, and that is 4. So let us count 4 units from the vertex, upward and downward. Let us have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this will be the endpoints of the latus rectum. So let us draw our parabola. So the endpoints are 2 and 4, and then 2 and negative 4. And the line of directrix, that is x equals 1, 2. That is negative 2. This will be our answer.
On example number 2, we have vertex at 1 and 2 and directrix is x equals 4. So let us sketch the graph. Let us have vertex at 1 and 2, 1. And then we have x equals 4, that is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this will be the line of directrix. So the distance between vertex to line of directrix that is 3 units, so the value of A is 3. And directrix that is behind the opening of the parabola, so therefore our focus is on the left side of our graph. So since our parabola opens to the left, we are going to use the formula y minus k square equals negative 4a times quantity x minus h and our vertex that is 1 and 2 so let us have y and then minus 2 square equals negative 4 times a that is 3 and then we have x minus 1 so let us have y minus 2 square equals negative 12 times quantity x minus 1 so this will be the standard form of equation of parabola and if you want to write your answer in general form let us simplify this one we have y multiplied by itself that is y square and then y multiplied by negative 2 that is negative 2 y times the constant 2 is negative 4y negative 2 multiplied by itself that is positive 4 and then negative 12 times x is negative 12x negative 12 times negative 1 is positive 12 so let us move negative 12x and positive 12 on the other side of equation. This would be y square plus 12x minus 4y plus 4 minus 12 equals 0. So we have y square plus 12x minus 4y minus 8 equals 0. So this will be the general form. And if you want to sketch the graph, since the distance between vertex to the line of directrix is 3 units, let us count 3 units from the vertex. 1, 2, 3. So this will be our focus. Focus, it tells us where is the opening of our parabola. And then, to find the endpoints of our lattice rectum, let us have 2 times A. So this will be 2 times 3 and that is 6. So let us count 6 units from the focus. That's a 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let us draw the endpoints. So let us draw our parabola. So this will be our axis of symmetry and this is the line or the lattice rectum so the endpoints of the lattice rectum that is negative 2 and then we have negative positive 8 and then we have negative 2 and negative 4 and the equation of the directrix that is x equals 4 this will be our answer Example number 3, we have focus at 0, 2, and directrix is y equals negative 2. So let us sketch the graph. Let us draw a Cartesian coordinate plane. So this will be our x-axis and y-axis. So focus at 0, 2, that is 1, 2. So this is 0, 2, and this is our focus. And y equals negative 2, that is 1, so this will be the line of directrix. And since vertex is the midpoint between focus and line of directrix, our vertex is located at the origin. And then, and since the focus is on the top of the vertex, it tells us that the opening of our parabola opens upward. And if our parabola opens upward, we are going to use the formula x minus h squared equals 
4a times quantity y minus k. And to find the distance or the value of a, let us count the distance from vertex to focus, that is 1 and 2. So the value of a or the focal length is 2. So let us have x minus 0 and then square equals 4 times 2 multiplied by y minus 0. So we have x square equals 4 times 2, that is 8, and then y. So this will be the standard form. And if you want to write the general form, let us move 8y on the side of x square. So this is x square minus 8y equals 0. So let us draw our parabola. To find the endpoints of our lattice rectum, let us have 2a equals 2 times 2, and that is 4. So let us count 4 units to the right and to the left of the focus. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is our endpoint. Okay, let us draw our parabola. Opens upward. So this will be the axis of symmetry, and this is the lattice rectum. So to find the endpoints or the coordinates of the endpoints, that is 4 and 2, and then negative 4 and 2. And the equation of the directrix that is our given, that is y equals negative 2. This will be our answer. In our last example, opens to the left with focus at 4, 3, and one of the endpoints of the lattice rectum is 4, 7. Since our parabola opens to the left, let us use the formula y minus k square equals negative 4a times quantity x minus h. And then let us sketch the graph. And then let us locate the focus that is 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. So this will be our focus. And then one of the endpoints of the lattice rectum that is 4, 7. Let's have 4, 5, 6, 7. Since the distance between focus and one of the endpoints of the lattice rectum that is 2a and that is 4, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Let us divide both sides by 2. So the value of a is 2. 2 is what we call the focal length. Focal length is the distance between vertex to focus. So since the distance between vertex to focus is 2 units, let us count 2 units to the right because our parabola opens to the left. 1, 2. So this will be our vertex located at 6, 3. And the value of A, that is 2. So let us find the equation. We have Y minus 3 and then square equals negative 4 times A, that is 2 equals x or times x minus 6. So let us write y minus 3 and then square. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 times quantity x minus 6. So this will be the general or standard form. And to find the general form, let us have y multiplied by itself, that is y square. y multiplied by negative 3, that is negative 3y times the constant 2 is negative 6y. And then negative 3 times 3 itself is positive 9. On the other side, negative 8 times x is negative 8x. Negative 8 times negative 6 is positive 48. So let us move negative 8x and 48 on the other side of equation. This will be y square plus 8x minus 6y plus 9 minus 48 equals 0. So let us have y square plus 8x minus 6y, 9 minus 48, that is negative 39 equals 0. So this will be the general form. And if you want to find or if you want to sketch the graph, since the distance between focus and one of the endpoints of our lattice rectum is 4 units, let us count 4 units downward, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then... To find the line of the directrix, that is 1, 2, that is the value of A. So let us draw our axis of symmetry. And then let us draw our parabola. So 
So to find the equation of the directrix, we have x equals 8. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And to find the endpoints of our lattice rectum, since we have 4 and 7, the other one is 1, 2, 3, 4, and then negative 1. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.